It has been one year since Western New York's first legal cannabis dispensary opened up shop. Thanks 716 on Main Street in downtown Buffalo. We were there last July when they opened. And today I went back to see how things are going a year into business. We expected a line, but not quite the, the amount of people that were here. This was the scene a year ago this month. Dozens of people lined up down the block as Dank 716, Western New York's first licensed cannabis dispensary, opened on Main Street in downtown Buffalo. Really amazed at all the people that came out for it. Aaron Van Camp is the owner of Dank 716. I met with him Monday to get a sense of New York's cannabis industry as he hits the one-year mark of his business. Amazing. Far exceed our expectations of what we thought was going to go on. Um, we were very lucky is in that we were open during the injunction and we beat it there so we were the only store here and that really played a part in our success. Van Camp tells me Dank, which offers a wide variety of cannabis products, draws roughly 2,000 customers a week to his downtown dispensary and that adds up to millions of dollars. We did like just under 10 million. Like I want, between showcases, I want to say we did eight and a half year and like almost a million dollars at showcases um, between partners at Vice Botanics and Empire Hemp out in Batavia. But the cannabis rollout in New York state hasn't been smooth for everyone. We're a year in. You think overall it's been what everyone had hoped for or far below expectation. It's starting to get up to pace now. The governor really got on and made some changes in leadership. Um, but so far it's been far slower than they wanted, but it's really excelling at a fast pace. Van Camp says as that pace picks up, more and more local dispensaries will come online, which he believes is great for consumers, but challenging for new businesses. The idea of having 20 stores out here plenty to be spread around like 70 it's going to be very very competitive it's not just popping open and and having people line up it's, it's going to be much harder for store number 63 than store number one as far as the biggest challenges through the first year van camp says it's been the lawsuit slowing new york's rollout and the taxes both state and federal that the industry faces between sales tax federal income tax state income tax i want to say we, we gave the government two million dollars already so it's the government's the, the big winner in this so far as for the future of the cannabis industry in new york state it's going to generate a ton of money um, for the state. It's just as far as actually people making money, it's much harder than people think. Yeah, and Van Camp tells me there has been a legal obstacle seemingly almost every month over the first year surrounding the cannabis industry, which makes it difficult to plan for the future. But he's proud of what he's built so far in his first year of business there.